afternoon, I'm Dave Camber with Wilderness Outfitters. I'm with Pathfinder School. I'm going to do a little practice shooting today for this uh, upcoming ram hunt tomorrow with this sling bow that I made. I want to show that this thing will take big game. Now bear in mind there is no big game open right now in Ohio. Whitetail deer season is not open. So I had to go to a game ranch to find big game to shoot. Not a big deal. It's a 500 acre uh, fenced in ranch. So the game is fenced in but it's 500 acres so you still have to stalk and spot and stalk hunt this stuff. Uh, not like they're in a pen you just walk up and shoot them. Uh, it's 500 acre woods. But at any rate, I want to show you some improvements I've made off suggestions and ideas that I've come up with and some suggestions I had on the internet. One thing that I did was, because I needed to get the maximum amount of poundage I could get out of this bow, or out of this uh, sling bow setup, I have actually shortened the bands considerably. I put a bowstring actually between here where the pocket was with a release. So I've got a served piece of bowstring in here with a release loop because you get up around 50 pounds of this thing or 45 pounds, you're not going to pinch it between your fingers anymore and hold it very steady. So I've done that. I've also replaced these two rubbers right here with just some rubber tubing pieces that I've cut off because I wore the other ones out shooting this thing. Now, I've got an actual release here, just an Allen release, cheapy release that I'm going to use. I've got two carbon arrows here. One of them's got decent feathers on it. The other one's tore up pretty bad. They've got a 100 grain field tip on them. These are Wolverine Hunter carbon 5060 arrows. This is what we're going to be shooting at this target today. Tomorrow we're going to shoot muzzy broadheads at this ram with these carbon arrows. I changed to the carbon to get a little more speed. Um, I have no doubt that wood arrows will kill big game with this thing, but I may have to shoot out to 20 yards, and I'm going to shoot some things at 15, 20 yards today at this target, and we'll see how she does and what kind of penetration we actually get at that distance. So stay with me. We'll set it up. We'll show it to you. All right, guys, you're going to have to excuse this wind a little bit. It's real windy out here today. We're going to be fighting that, but I just got a broken down barn here in my back area. I've got a 55-gallon drum turned sideways, a plastic one I'm using today instead of a metal one, just in case I hit it. I penetrated one with it yesterday, uh, a metal one, so I'm going to use a plastic one today so it'll bounce off, hopefully. I've got a block target sitting on top of that so that I'm looking at about the right height to shoot a midsection shot or a heart-lung shot on a ram tomorrow, and that's what I'm going to be shooting at today. I actually wanted to get some footage of this thing shooting and I'm going to try to slow it down on camera for you so that you can see what it looks like when it shoots. So I'm hooking my release right to that loop, hold it sideways just like a bow and I'm going to draw it back just like I would draw a bow back. So you're going to get this right here. I'm using that ring as an aim point. I'm looking right through that ring as my sight, okay? I'm going to turn this around to the target I just shot from about 10 yards and let you see this. I'll zoom in on it. There we go. That's a 10-yard shot. Let's go up and see what the penetration looks like on that. I'm going to leave this camera here this time so you get a side view of this arrow hitting the target. For the moment, we'll look at what the penetration was like on this one. That's what we got, guys. That's probably, I'm guessing, oh, I put that up next to my foot. That's probably 10 inches of penetration in the side of that block target. I'm going to leave this camera here and shoot another one from 10 yards again and let you see it. Okay, 10 yard shot. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to put this right here beside the camera. I'm going to leave it where it's at. I'm going to go back about 20 yards, 15 yards first, and shoot again and let you see it coming out of the bow. That was a little bit left of center, just a little bit low. Well, let's see what we got here. Again, penetration wise, at 15 yards, you got about 9, 10 inches right there. 
Let's try it from 20. Okay, 20 yards, we got about three inches of drop down to the bottom of the target. But we still got all kinds of penetration. I told the guy on the phone when I talked to him about this ram hunt, I wanted to shoot this thing from about 10 to 12 yards. Let's pace it off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. This is about where we're gonna be shooting from, guys. This is about what you're looking at not zoomed in. I'm going to go ahead and shoot one from back here and we'll check and see what it looks like when we're done. Just cover that camera up a little bit to keep it out of the rain, Justin. Mm -hmm. Don't cover the front end of it, if you can help it. <laughs> This is about where I'm going to be shooting that ram from tomorrow. What do you think? All right, that's one, guys. Let's shoot another one. I got another arrow laying here. We'll shoot two here from this distance to see what we got. See if we can back another one up. That looks that good. That one's dead center. Those arrows are almost on top of each other, guys. 12 yards, this thing is deadly. With a muzzy broadhead, that's going to be a dead ram tomorrow. I can guarantee you. Let me uh, go ahead and zoom in on this thing so you guys can see how close those arrows are together. There you go. Those arrows are probably an inch apart at the most in that target. We'll walk up there and take a look. Zoom this camera back out. There you go, guys. Right on top of each other. No doubt if I was aiming at a heart lung, smack down. I'm going to pull these out of here. I'm going to put my knee up against it and pull these out so you can see what the penetration looks like here. Put my finger where the target's at. Look at that, guys. That is probably 15 inches of penetration at 12 yards. On that arrow, and the same thing on that arrow. That's a good 15 inches of penetration. I can't even hold it far enough out to get the whole thing. There we go. In the camera. 